I'm Matthias here. Today we'll look at how to sync Logic Pro with an iPad with Ableton Link. Logic Pro 10.7.5 brought some really nice new features. We got nested stacks, which means that you can organize your larger templates and projects better. There's also a new gain tool for quick gain edits on individual clips. But the most exciting new feature to me is Ableton Link to sync up Logic Pro with your iPhone and iPads via Wi-Fi. Right, so to be able to use Ableton Link, make sure to download the latest version of Logic Pro. Now, to see the sync feature, you can either go to File and the Product Settings and go to your synchronization. But there's uh, actually a quicker way to access this uh, new Ableton Link feature. And that is to right click this uh, upper region here and select Customize Control Bar and Display. And here we can activate the new sync function. And you see we have this little link button. So we press this button and now we have Ableton Link activated. Now the second thing, we also need to set up Logic Pro to send and transmit the, the play and stop. To do that we press and hold the link button here and we can activate transmit, receive, start, stop. Now we can see the Ableton Link status uh, with this little uh, blue circle here. And that indicates uh, a four bar loop. And we can also see the amount of sessions that's connected or the amount of devices that's uh, connected to this Ableton Link session. And we currently have two devices. I have my iPhone here set up with um, the AUX app. And on the iPad here we have Korg Gadget. Now the next step is obviously to set up our iPad. And in this case I'm using AudioBus 3. Now the reason for running the AudioBus app is uh, because Korg Gadget by itself can't uh, transmit and receive the play and stop functions. But uh, AudioBus 3 can. So to set up AudioBus 3, you press the settings button here, go to sync settings and make sure that you have uh, Ableton Link enabled and the AudioBus app uh, start stop messages. We also have the iPad connected via the line out from the iPad into my audio interface and we have a track here called iPad in Logic which uh, receives uh, the audio. Now within Core Gadget here I just have a little arpeggio program with uh, the Lexington uh, synthesizer. And I also have a second track here with the Helsinki synth. Now if you pay attention you can also see that we have the Ableton Link sync timing here with the blue bar at the top of the Core Gadget app. So now let's press play in Logic and we can see that the Core Gadget will get the start message and play back that arpeggio. And I also have an arpeggiator activated on uh, this uh, Helsinki synth. So let's go into the scale here, arpeggio. Now notice that even if I press uh, stop here on the Core Gadget app, it won't transmit the start uh, or the stop message in this case. That's because we're using, uh, as I mentioned earlier, we're using uh, the start and stop uh, sync with the Audio Buzz app, which then uh, transmits the start and stop messages to the Core Gadget app. So to be able to use the start stop with Core Gadget, we need to press uh, play and stop on the Audio Buzz app rather than the internal gadget app. Right, so that's briefly how Ableton Link works in Logic Pro. Now, if you want to learn more about Logic Pro, I have an upcoming masterclass and you can sign up your interest to the masterclass via the link in the description today. And if you sign up to the masterclass and also enter into the masterclass when it's published, you also get a free sample pack like the Neptune Alchemy preset pack for Logic Pro. 
Okay, now let me know in the comments if you have any favorite iOS music apps that uh, you really like and that uh, I should review or talk about on this channel. Now you can continue and watch my next episode. My name is Matthias and see you in the next video. Bye.